Hi everybody, this is Kara Crossway Brindle. Today I am representing Supervisionary, which is our clinical supervision business. Just wanted to let you know, um, updates are coming from Dora. They just finalized the rules and how they wanna implement the changes that we've been, all been tracking as LPCs. And so for the licensed professional counselor friends and colleagues, I just wanted to give you a couple quick updates from the notes that I took today as they finalized everything. Cause I know there's been a lot of questions. Um, there was some clarification around 1,500 of the 2,000 hours for your LPC. So when it comes to individual contact with clients, that that is 1,500 hours going forward, effective today, September 25th, 2020. Uh, they clarified some supervision around those 2,000 hours that you must complete in a minimum of two years. So that didn't change. Um, now the supervision, they're making sure that you get 50 hours of supervision per 1,000 hours, right? So 100 hours of supervision total for 2,000 hours of direct client contact, or excuse me, 2,000 hours of clinical experience. And they want 35 of those 50 a piece, so 70 total to be individual supervision. So that's been clarified, it didn't change, just wanted to make sure that was still on your radar for those of you who are supervising. The bigger stress point has been who can supervise. Um, so we do not have an LPCS. We thought we were gonna have a credential. It does not look like that is the direction they went. Instead, they want to put some parameters in place for clinical supervision. So if you are a supervisor, supervising LPCCs or people pursuing their licensed professional counselor credential, this is for you. So you have three options to be compliant with your supervision training. The first of which, number one, is two credit hours of graduate school education around supervision. That's option one. Option two, six hours of supervision training. So you have to get it in those fundamentals around supervision, so theories, ethics, different things. So six hours of supervision training is a second option. Third option is to get your ACS, so approved clinical supervisor. That's 45 hours of training that would cover the six hour requirement or the requirement for training and supervision. So those are your three options. Um, they also have some parameters about making sure you have enough experience. So look for the notes from Dora on that. Um, there was a lot of challenges and stress around this, but hopefully this gives you some clarity. So the magic number for those of us in private practice as supervisors is six contact hours or two credit hours, or pursue your ACS and get 45 hours of training. So now you have that clarified. I think it's a great opportunity. We're two weeks out from our live webinar on the empowerment model, new model of supervision for those of you who haven't checked it out yet. And that's a live webinar, two contact hours for that training. So for those of you who are still looking for some hours of supervision, this is a chunk that you can get towards your six hours total. Everything is in a grace period. You have um, from September 25th today to September 1st, 2021 to have all of the parameters checked off to be compliant as a supervisor. So we do have a grace period. We have time to get training. More trainings are coming from supervisionary and colleagues who are putting trainings together to meet this need. So by no means are we the only one, but we do want to remind you of this training opportunity in two weeks. So if you want to grab two hours of clinical supervision training, this could be an opportunity for you. I hope you'll join us. I hope this is helpful and I look forward to having the formal parameters published out there for everyone, hopefully soon. So these are just my notes from the meeting today, confirming the supervision requirements and some different changes with the LPC license. Take care, everybody.